Now joined by Hofstra head coach Christina Hernandez following her team's 3 nothing sweep of Towson. Coach, uh, how nice was the play so well today and end the uh, three-match losing skid? It was nice, uh, especially because I think Friday was a little rough for us offensively. And t uh, today I, I feel like everybody really contributed, especially Ivana and Nuri, and, and it helped things kind of flow a little bit easier for us today on the offensive end. A lot of balance attack on the offensive end, including Nuri. It looks like she really gave you a spark there. Yes, and, and it helps us. It helps when we need Kelsey on the big points and, and really helps us spread out our offense and, and kind of give her some breathing room, um, which is something that I don't necessarily think we did well on, on Friday, so I was happy to see it from our team today. And our coach, uh, Kelsey Wells, 11 consecutive times she's had match had kills now and 16 matches in a row that she's been able to stay on double-digit errors. What, is, what have you just seen from her that lately that she's just, like, grown so much? Um, you know, she's really just, uh, she wants to do well for her team, and I think that that's a, a big motivation for her, and, um, you know, I, I, she works hard for everybody, and she wants to make sure that she's she's filling in in the role that we need her to fill in, which is, is being our go-to player, and, and she's filling those shoes great, and she's talking a lot more, and she's been working on her defense and her passing, because people have been picking on her in there, so, uh, you know, she's, she's definitely much more mature in, in these matches that we've seen her in. And, uh, oh, sorry. And, oh, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. And Caitlin Krause as well. Uh, she just have been having some kind of breakout matches so far this uh, season. Just recently she got a double-double, uh, 17 assists and 17 uh, digs yeah. as well. Just she... Uh, contributes to the team so much more now. She does. She's working to get better. Um, I think on Friday she had eight kills for us, and you know I think today was a little rough, but she's definitely working on expanding and, and trying to be involved in every play that we're doing, whether it's on blocking, defense, or, or the attacking end. Uh, Sarah back in the starting lineup tonight, uh, today actually. Can you talk about what she's brought to the team this weekend? Um, she's good. She brought us a lot of energy in those first two matches and, and was, um, you know, getting in on the attack and it helped loosen up the pins for us. So um, she did a good job and hopefully we can get her connection going with the setters a little bit more and, and continue to get her in the offense. Very strong defensively today, both digging and blocking. Can you talk about the real total team effort there? Um, you know, we've asked um, our, our Sophia's really stepped up, and, and you can tell that, and now people are pushing the ball away from her, and Karina's also doing a great job back there, and so is Kelsey, and um, our setters have really stepped up, and, and we've really focused on that the past, um, I'd say, maybe two or three weeks, as it was something that we needed to be better at, and um, overall, I think it's really great, and it's tougher for people to find weaknesses against us, so we just have to keep doing that and, and make sure we focus on our offense so that we're digging so many balls off of defense that we're keeping our attack consistent, and that will help us um, score some points. How important was it to get back on the court so soon after Friday's match where you obviously you're slightly disappointed in the effort. Right. Uh, you know, uh, it, it's good for us to bounce back so quickly, um, you know, and, and to have a good match where we're where we're earning points and, and we're we're earning what we're doing, not necessarily waiting for people to make mistakes. And you know, I think we hit three ninety today, which was great to see offensively from us and it was it was nice to see our team bounce back so quickly because we'll we'll need to stay tough for the rest of conference. Short turnaround final non conference match of the year on Tuesday at Sacred Heart and then uh, uh, Northeastern next Friday. Talk about this week ahead. Um, we just want to keep our momentum going, and that's what we just talked to them about. You know, we want to step into Tuesday and, and keep our offense smooth and have everybody contributing. That way when we get to Friday, um, you know, we can play a really tough match and, and hopefully get the next one this time against Northeastern. Um, only two lead changes within the entire match. Can you talk about how getting out to an a lead early is important? Uh, you know, I think the difference today is we really minimized what we were doing on our attacking errors today, um, and it didn't necessarily let them get into the match. And, um, you know, I think Towson really had to earn points against us today, and, and when you're blocking and playing defense and limiting those errors on the offensive end, then it makes that thing a little bit difficult. Thank you, Coach. Thank